Hey friends, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to add Fathom Analytics to your Remix site. Sound good? Let's get started. So Fathom is um, privacy first analytics. You can add it to your site pretty easily. Um, I haven't found much documentation on how to do this with Remix, so I figured I would walk through that quickly. First, I'm going to create a Remix project using the create Remix command line. We're going to go with just the basics. And for this case, we'll use the Remix app server. It doesn't really matter what you choose here. And we will run npm install so it installs all the uh, requisite background packages. OK, for this project, I'm going to choose TypeScript. It doesn't matter what you pick here. Use whatever you're into. You may already have a Remix site. It doesn't matter. Now that our project is set up, all we have to do is bump into the folder that uh, Remix created for us. So we'll do cd add fathom. I'm also going to open this in VS Code, which I have open here. All right, so once we're inside of our Remix project, we're going to open up root.tsx or root.jsx if you chose JavaScript. To add Fathom, we're going to insert a script tag here, and I'll show you how we do that. So uh, this is documented within Remix's documentation. If you open up their docs, they have a conventions page, and under conventions, they have this components and hooks section that explains that we can add script tags to the page by putting them before this script's component that Remix adds by default. To generate our Fathom script, we're going to come into our Fathom account, create a site name. We'll say Fathom in Remix, and we're going to hit Create Site. We're going to grab the embed code here, copy it, and paste it into our project. The HTML comments that are included here don't work in um, JSX, so remove these two lines. We'll hit Save. I have prettier setup, so it'll format this for me automatically. And just to be go with convention here, I'm going to make it a self-closing tag. So this is all we've added. These lines here, which now adds this script to my site. What I can do from here is run npm run dev. That will run my site uh, locally. So I'm going to open it up in localhost. Uh, this is the default sort of remix starter. And if we come to our network tab and search for just script.js, we'll refresh the page. We see we're now loading a script.js, which is our Fathom Analytics. And if we go to the Elements Inspector here, let me zoom in on this, we look for Fathom, we see that we're including our Fathom script with a data site of TRSS CIOR, which was our code that Fathom gave us. We can hit Verify Site Code and then Refresh. And then Fathom should say, hey, the tracker is installed. That's really all there is to it. Now, there are a couple of other things that we can do to make this a little bit nicer within our Remix app. One thing you may want to do is not include your um, Fathom tracking code in your source code. Uh, on the off chance that you might want to change it or that you don't want to have this committed to Git or something like that, we can use an environment variable. To do that, we're going to add an, uh, a loader export here. So we're going to do export const loader. Uh, and then this is going to be a loader function. And then we're going to do that. And we're going to do return JSON. And we're importing both this loader function and JSON from Remix run node. In here, we're going to do env. And in our env, we're going to do process.env. So we'll do fathom app uh, tracking ID. And then we'll do process.env dot fathom tracking ID. So what this will do is it will return, um, fix that. Now when the, any page loads in the site, because this is in the root, it will include this env thing uh, from the loader, which we can use to access our Fathom tracking ID. So we'll do that here. We'll do const data equals uh, use loader data. And then we're going to do const env equals data. And we're going to replace this with env dot fathom tracking ID here. So now the only other thing we need to do is create a new file, call it dot env, set our fathom tracking ID to our site ID. There we go. So we don't need the quotes here. We'll save that. Now we have this nice thing. We want to make sure this is caps to match this variable that we've created here. And now it should still continue to work if we come back in here. So we have our, ah, I'm sorry, one thing we'll need to do here is restart the app. 
because we've now added an env, so we need to kill this process and run npm run dev one more time. It'll go reload those environment variables. Now we refresh this. When we come back, we should have data site trsscior, and we can go to the dashboard and we can see one person on our site at slash. And if I add another root, we could say uh, testing.tsx. And all we're going to do here is make a copy of index. And we will call this, we'll delete the content here. And we're just going to make this a testing page. And now if I go on my site to slash testing, on my testing page, in a moment, this should show me accessing testing. There we go. So that's all there is to it. We've added Remix to the site. We have page tracking. We have anonymity. We get all the nice things that um, Fathom provides. Um, you can do things like add a custom domain if that's something you're interested in doing. Um, and gosh, I guess the only other thing worth mentioning here is that because the env file is in our git ignore, uh, by default, this file will never end up in GitHub or Git or your Git repo, wherever you're saving it. Uh, so you can store your env here. It is now separated from your um, apps root .j, uh, tsx or jsx, uh, and this should all still work. So that's all there is to it. We added a Fathom tracker to our Remix site using just a simple script tag. We then replaced the tracking ID with an environment variable so that we don't commit our tracking ID to GitHub. Uh, and now the site has tracking with privacy first analytics using Fathom. Um, if there's something else you'd like to see implemented with Fathom or with Remix, feel free to drop me a line here or on Twitter. My handle is at Irreverent Mike. If you're interested in using Fathom for your own site and you don't yet have an account, I have a referral code. It's down in the description. You can click on that and get set up with a Fathom account in no time. So that's all for now. And I'll catch you next time. Until then, have fun building.